Okay, so, and we're back. Anyway, so, now we have the ability to choose of any ruins what we want. We can, s now, one of the ways I'll do this is I'll look at the rewards. Deeds, for example, we're short on, so it makes sense. And the Swordsman's Crest, the Crusader, could be used to increase his melee, but minus his healing skills. That's a thought. This one, busts, which are a little easier to get, and slippery shoots, plus four dodge, and minus two move resistance. I hate move resistance loss. And plus 33% healing to the Antiquarian. Now, I definitely want an Antiquarian, because their special ability increases the ability to get money. Apprentice, level one. Oof. The fortunate thing is, this one's kind of hard for this group. Well, yeah, we're going to have to basically pick the easiest one, which is going to be... Hmm, it's all equal to... That so bad. We don't want to do that. Ninety percent of rooms and the antiquary. Yeah, we're doing this one. Estate map. Explore. Unholy machinations of crush together vault and hall. Explore your ancestral home as far as you're able to. So this allows us to just by exploring rooms, so we can bypass rooms that might be an issue. We also get more deeds, which is our primary lack here. Hopefully, we'll and the busts are more common to get randomly for treasure. So hang on. Let's pay our bills. This quest involves camping. Camping requires firewood. Fire was given automatically in appropriate quests. Camping gives you a pile to recuperate while in the dungeon. One other thing it does, by the way, is there are stress relief camping abilities. We'll go into that when we camp. That you can use even if you don't need to. If, for example, I clear out all the rooms, I can just stop, camp, do stress relief, and then come back. Which is probably what I'll do. Oh my god, we got a lot of basic stuff here. Well, bandages from the... From the Arborist, dog treats for the him, holy water. I'm not for the Crusader and anti venom. Wow. Anyways, let's do the usual. And twelve. I'm gonna go. Not gonna use the key, by the way, simply because I thinking minorly here. So it's not a huge good bump up for the beginning. We can do more of them later. Anyways, so let's embark. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Right, the debuff stone. Don't want it. Anyways, tally ho! Once holy idols and shrines have been corrupted to favor pagan gods. Hey, I like pagan gods. Holy water can help restore them to their rightful condition. So basically a hint, you can use holy water on certain um, types of curios to get a positive result. Pace out the halls of your lineage once We've done this you. part. Now. Oh, got a scouting mission too. One battle, one curio, and an empty room. So, let's get started. Also, can we... Yeah, this is going to be a large one. Alright, so... Oh god, stress central. Oh, I hate the madman. High dodge, high speed. High stress. And there's more stress. Great. We're starting off awesome. All right, little germ warfare for the win. We may not be finishing this particular mission. Right then. Let's see if you got... Mark, mark, mark. Yep, plus 60 damage versus marked. So... This is going to be a combo here. I'm going to mark the madman, which will reduce his dodge, and make him a mark target for the dog special ability. Boom, you are targeted. Uh, in the meantime, would you mind so much killing? Would you mind killing him? No, apparently you can't. Right then. Now, Hound's Rush is a single attack, but my best one is called Hound's Harry, which applies minor damage to all targets and then an increase in bleeding. Now, bleed is almost useless against everybody except the Madman. I'm kind of hoping this will do some damage to, but actually, no, we're going to do a single target to try to kill him first because bleed is not going to work on the other three against other targets. When we have more flesh and blood, we'll be using that special ability. But for now, ah, uh, come on, die. Ooh, we're getting hit hard. Battlefield medicine. Yeah, one point at a time. My s oh, he didn't die. I'm using that firewood soon, I think. Ugh, 12 stress total. This is one brutal beginning fight. Can you 
Thanks. Another one falls. Meat shield, they're all but useless. Hounds Harry, this is the one that does multiple attacks and will kill him and do some minor damage to the other two. Uh, gonna be a while. Maybe, maybe knock back one. Hmm. Suppressing fire, damage, and debuff. Minus. Yep, suppressing fire. To reduce his accuracy. Bleeding corpses, I love it. Oh god, he's gonna get. Ooh, thank god for that. Boom. Battlefield Medicine. Now, one of the reasons I'm going to keep healing people even when they're full health is simply because... And you go down. Damn. Is because if you crit out, they lose stress. And already we're having stress issues, which is great. Another abomination cleansed from our land. Oh, thank gods. Oh, that was painful. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. Hmm. They can be beaten. I don't think I want it. Do you want to do some experiments? No. Negative repercussions is not a good thing. Ugh, already not doing well. Have some lunch. Uh, change this up and... Come on. Bit of a misclick there. Okay, so empty room. We knew that, actually. Now, which way do we want to go? Probably this way, and then this way. Because remember, we're doing a thing where you have to hit as many rooms as possible, and we can skip one. The question is, which one do we want to skip? If we can get down here and scout, and that's worth going to, we will. Otherwise, it won't be. Alright, so... yeah. If I had a key, I'd do it. What the... Oh, you little bastard. I have no forgiveness for you. None whatsoever. Gods. There goes the anti-venom. Hell of a thing there. Dude, your kleptomania is on the table for getting cut out of your skull. Alright, so scout. Empty room and curio. Let's go. Alright, fine. Bitch, bitch, bitch. It's really not that dark, dude. Somebody's pocket change. Do, 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 Why? Maybe it just indicates does that when I stop. We knew that one was empty. We don't have a stealth. All right, so we're going to basically hit this one near the beginning and hope that it's not useless. Look for any trap sign. Now, books. Books are an interesting one, by the way, in that they can give you positive or negative things. Oh, yeah, I get it. <sighs> Question is, do we actually want to risk our character's sanity? Considering he's already at stress of 61, that is no. Positive results can happen, but like I said, really not worth it. All right, anybody here? No. Okay, we're going to... Okay, thanks. Good to know. Double back. I'm not going to increase the torch until I need it. Although, given the amount of torches I have and the level of stress, it might actually make sense to do so. Sigh. At least I'll get that slot back soon. Nobody touches that thing. We don't have a key on us. Yeah, keys are good, but honestly, the room to take up can be a little painful. Now, this is going to be another battle, so higher. This is what we want. And let's go. Come on, everyone. Oh, combine these two. Oh, no. Stress. Stress? Really? Oh, she's going to crack. Here she goes. Resolve test at 100, and she becomes selfish. All right, so we're getting you drunk last time. Mm. At any cost. Afflicted. Uh, basically, she's also going to start popping everybody else, which is great. Guard ally. Now, this is a powerful ability for the Houndmaster because 
it not only causes a guard, which means an attack against the Plague Doctor now will attack the Houndmaster, it also gives buffs his own dodge by 10 points, which, you know, great. All right, all right. Plague Grenade. It's a help. Good. That's just... Oh, great. Oh, thanks. Stunning blow, smite. Come on. Good. Oh, she's just gonna have a heart attack, isn't she? Well, at least it's early in the game, and if I have to replace her, then I have to replace her. Let's keep spamming that flag grenade. Because you will stack, as I was joining before, Blight it. I need damage over time. Oh, shut up, woman. You are annoying me. Yeah, none of your abilities work there. Finish him. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. All right, we're finally getting our groove going here. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Good, no trap. All right. Yeah, that web works. Oof. Uh, scouting. Trap directly in front of us. And a curio. So that's where we're headed. What is your trap? 40%? 0%. Obviously not using her. 30%. So it is you. Good luck. Doing better than the goddamn thief. And that's stress relief, which is always a plus. And another torch. I know what to do with that. I'd like to keep it around 75 at least. Remember, we've got his super bonuses at 75%, so we're going to keep trying to keep it up there. All right, here we go. Plague me. Just, he's going to crack, isn't he? Right then, stun. He has a stun attack, and it worked, thank gods. The heavy hitter is down. Well, you meat shield. I'm gonna beat you senseless when we get back. Right then, use the smite ability, which has an extra damage against unholy, which he has the unholy mark down here, you'll notice. And 85% chance to hit. Boom. You want to start whittling down the numbers. Stack your debuff. Sorry, stack the damage over time. He dies on his own turn. Oh, you want to play, actually? Cool. Oh, great. You're like next to useless. The bolas do a knockback ability, which is kind of cool. Okay, we need to start healing like crazy. Take out the one you can. Okay, hopefully the Blight will do it too. Bite me. Meat shield doing meat shield things. Get those slow, very slow heals going. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Well, you killed the body. Which, by the way, did give stress relief to the party. Sometimes even screwing up can be positive. Honestly, I should give this to you, but he's more... Keeping him going crazy is more important. I don't like you that much right now. Oh, gods. Buron, I just didn't use you as a Polish mind detector. Anyways, let's go. The, the, you see the confessional booth? Uh, no. All right, I'll take it. You need the holy water to do that, by the way. Ooh, that was timely. All right. Plague me up, boys. <laughs> Hmm. 
And as you notice, plus 60 damage versus marked. Ooh, low hit though. No, oh, shut up, woman. Ow. Oof. Well, we may be losing her sooner than I thought. We're gonna have to camp. That's all it comes down to. Decimated. Ah, meat shield doing his thing. Basically, there's not a lot of strategy with those. Alright, so first things first, battlefield medicine. Stop the bleeding. Oh, death's door. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. The it's, the hero is reduced to zero hit points. They are death's door. Why in the state they will suffer stat penalties plus any damage is a chance to kill them. Heal them to get them off. This could finish him. Yep. Another life wasted in the pursuit of glory and gold. Yep. We have taken a casualty. Now the question is, do we continue or do we run? I don't think we can run right now. That could get us killed if we retreat. Okay. Hound's Harry, let's see if the bleed damage might be enough to finish at least one of these guys. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Hopefully that will finish them. Hmm. Boom. And we are out of here. And that is why you always bring a Vestal. The fact that I couldn't bring one right now is one of the reasons I lost that character. But now we've got to abandon. It's going to increase stress. Yep. In other words, we done bad. We didn't get our rewards either. Uh, sigh. First casualty. Night blindness. Definitely need to keep the light going with this guy. Plus five ranged. Hopefully that counts as a dog. And obsessed with the material things. Alright. So, that particular mission will hopefully be available. In truth, I cannot tell oh, great. All right, so Dismas, he got 56 stress loss. He's out. Ramses now has the witness. Will not take place in prayer after seeing unsavory activities and refuses to organize prayer again. God, it was Bob, wasn't he? Blacksmith and guild are now unlocked. Wield has been unlocked. Could not finish the quest. Drive in Mezfela. So, yeah. First, down, first man down, as it were. So, let's get back to the, the body count, shall we? First thing we need to do is deal with Burn's freaking insanity. Now, if you notice, she will only meditate, so hopefully... Yeah, we can meditate. Let's put Burn here, drop her in. Now, notice, before we start, do we have an upgrade possibility? We, in fact, do not. So, for the moment, we'll put her in here. That will also get rid of her craziness. So, before it locks in. Now, stress-wise... God-fearing will only pray. Prone to stealing. Oof. You. I uh, don't have to really unlock that yet. Yeah. Now, we have the option of increasing the stress relief, and that might not be a bad idea. It will also bring other things... Delay other things. But, in any case, can't lower the price, so... Basically, it's an expensive failure. Columbine, you, my boy, you're gonna drink. You're just gonna drink. What? Oh. Only meditate. Oh, problem. Well, I guess you're not gonna be useful to me. Let's see who we got. Who's the next meet? Another Arbalest, great. Occultist, Crusader, and Vestal. The Vestal goes automatically in. <sighs> Illumination, no ability to do what I want. Unfortunately, we'll reconfigure her later. Basically, another hitter. We'll need that. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. 
Oh god, quit reflex is balanced. Ooh, obsessed with the paranormal. He's good. He's really good. Eagle eye, range, scouting. Get rid of that beast. Fear of beast soon, hopefully. So it gives us what do we have here? Griffin, Dismas, uh one Bursign, and who else? Who are we going to have in position three? Because it's going to be important. The cultist is not one of my favorite because it has the basically special effects. He can fire, as you notice, fire tentacles at people in the back, from the back, can heal, but bleeds you at the same time. Basically causes a, can reduce dodge and stun touch. You know, I'm almost okay with this. Minus two stress, plus 10 stress. Yeah, that's great. Time reduced torchlight by 100. Ugh. Never uses camping abilities. Honestly, let's give him a try. Now that is everyone. The abyss. One must know it. Is it worth? We'll only drink, cove, clotter. You know what? I regret you spending money on you. Give me a second. I can do this. Cancel the treatment. Don't get the money back, unfortunately. Ditch you. Yep. You have failed me. Yes. Not usually how we do it, but if I do have to switch out characters, I do want to do it in the beginning. Now this gives us enough to deal with a decent roster here, but let's deal with the guild. Now the guild... Allows me to unlock the other, unlock other skills. Now, because we are currently kind of cash strapped because of that particular failure, we are going to go back with Ramses and use just she has the skill configurations that I want. But Dismas, for example, I kind of want Wicked Slice because that allows me to do basic damage, point blank shot, does a knockback, and the duelist advance. That those two are a nasty combo that allows Dismas to jump back and forth and do a lot of damage. Only the Grave Digger has the better abilities doing that, but I'm thinking of unlocking the Wicked Slice and taking him out again. Now, other possibilities are, of course, the Jester, which Finale is the primary reason to use this character, by the way. Um, self, ish, kind of mess yourself up a bit when you'd use it, but it's one you want to use it at the very end. A slice off, bleed, which basically in midsection attacks a section. Yeah, he's good. Now, the question is anything I want Brandywine? We can incurse and sacrificial stab. Yeah, I want his basic attack, obviously, plus the abyssal artillery, remove the that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're really going to be able to do one of these. And the question is which one do I want? Sniper shot, bolas, bandage. Oh fuck yes, bandage. Rallying flare. Yeah, she was this one's a much better choice. So, thinking of putting you in position three, Griffin in position one, Dismas in position two, and Remus in three. That works. Now, one of the things I'll do, by the way, is I will make the party first so I know which ones I'm going to be going through. Yeah, it's looking kind of familiar, except for the missing dead guy. Actually, no. She's going to be a backup healer. We need to keep her going. Let's keep Brown to Wine out going. Now, as uh, <laughs> Almost makes me want to take this. What's his speed? Six. It's almost worth it. The state map skirmish. 100% of battles. That's a little more dangerous. But it's a short one. Actually considering doing that one. What's the other options? Don't have a bounty hunter yet. Man at arms we don't have yet. Jester we do have. Plus seven crit. Hmm. Kind of thought there. And it's an explorer one. Swift cloak, plus two, minus two, move resist. Nope. What we're going to do is probably get the jester one. Also, in portraits are harder to get. I really would prefer to get the deeds, but, you know, what we got, we got, we got. Now, do we have a deeds? I don't think we do. This one's crest. The most basic ones are deeds three. Ooh, it's exploration two. It's a basic scout mission. I think I'm actually going to do this one just for the deeds so we can get the base building up a lot faster. Yep. Here. You have to keep in mind all types of rewards, and you basically want to figure out what it is you're going to do. Now, hang on one second. Uh, Alright. 
Okay, sorry, I had to check something there. Okay, so... Hmm. I think this is probably what we're going to do. Now, first things first is we need to locate... It's Griffith's speed anyways. Three, yeah, we're not reducing his speed at all. We don't want to use that. It's also extra cash. So, I'm basically going to sell the damn thing. One of the things about this is I will let it fill up because you can fit a lot of stuff in here. But when it does, I, but a lot of stuff I'm not going to use. I'm just going to hold it as backup cash. It's a way to hold it without, you know, holding it as it were. Okay. In time, in time, you all have your chance to face the horrors. But let's knock it out. All right. Yeah, the usual. We're we running light on this one because we're low on cash. Probably only eight for food. No keys, no shovels. Mm, don't really want to do this, but we gotta we gotta go quick. All right. So the question is, however, am I okay with his configuration? No, actually. Going to put that up for a second and head back to town. Let's blow a thousand out of the cash we just got. Sorry. For you. Anyways, so we get the sacrificial stab. Now, only four active abilities. Remap, toggle the skills on and off, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Turning off weird, gaining cat sacrificial stab. Okay, so you put it, it started out to be a bit more offensive. I do not like that weird healing ability that can make you bleed, unless I've got somebody who can cancel bleeding, which, of course, he just died, so that's not a thing at the moment. All right, so back to this. And make sure, remember, when you come back out like this, by the way, is that you, um, <clears throat> not that one, that one, you, um, will reset the event, the uh, adventure you're going on. So make sure you reselect the adventure, otherwise you could have an unpleasant surprise. Okay, so here we go. Fortunately, it doesn't remember. I can live with that. All right, so yeah. And running light, off we are. Like I said, the ability to win this game is through absorbing damage and losses and keep going. Ruins, if you live for risk and darkness, by all means, bring through torches. Again, that's referring to the torchless run. The halls of your lineage once familiar, now foreign. Empty room and a battle ahead of us, 90% of rooms should be easy enough. We can do this bypassing that one unless we have a particular reason to do to do so which scouting will be the one to find out hopefully we get some scouting and uh, never read the books call cthulhu should teach you that they just can increase your stress oh they're cute multi-attack and judgment As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. nope you want to do a multi-attack when they have little damage, so boom. If you notice, by the way, we actually made money on that. Made, we debuffed stress, as basically, as I put it. No scouting ability. Move to this room because of the pattern we have set up. Keep him above 75% if possible. Oh, you little bastards. And there's the stress. Ugh. Where the torches are like matchsticks. This do not last worth a damn. Okay, where are we? Okay, so next run to here. If I'd scouted, I probably would have avoided that. Yeah, I need the cash, but that, that's not much of it. That's barely going to hold our torch, Bill. There we are. 78. Good. Hmm. None to heal, so let's stun you. Well, saved herself a shot there. Tentacles for the win. Again, there really isn't much stop oh, this one. Oof, pistol shot on you. Oh, damn. Almost. 
Oh, that's gonna suck. Crits cause stress, unfortunately. If you can minimize them, do so. Go for the certain kill. Heal you. We don't want to lose Damas. He's one of the better characters. Ooh, they do like to hit him, though. Oof. And boom. Dursaders are skeleton killers. Ooh, thank goodness. Oh, this is going to suck. Oh, we're getting pounded on here. Damn it. And all I can do is attack a corpse. Okay. Oh, you little bastard. You have failed me. Tentacles have failed me. Do the face. Well, we can sell that. Yeah, we're getting... Oh, good. That is a lot of traps. Okay, so I'm probably going to go here and here, since this one is empty. No idea where the curios are, and since they can be negative, we don't do that. Alright, so first things first. Let's sell your statue. I forgot to do that. Ugh, we didn't get you a special ability. Ah, uh, the beginning. Doing more with less. And stress relief, at the very least. At least I know there's no battle, so I don't have to up the torch until later. But the stress will add up. Just like that. Yeah, I know, I know, but I know where they all are right now. Never touch the books. Okay, so battle coming up and using his special abilities will... Require us to use it. Go. Ugh, one of my least favorite configurations. All right, so best thing to do. Let's kill one before they can act. In the meantime, however, let's. You little, you need to increase your accuracy, dude. It's embarrassing. At least we got rid of one. And here comes the attack. Thank God. I hate those things. Ow. Really don't like you, dude. Brad Warren, what did you do to these guys? Seriously. Oh, we need to up that damage real bad. That was not a miss we could afford. Ugh. We are not losing anyone else. Except him. Losing him is fine. Yeah, the those guys just damage rainers. And they hide back there, too. If I have to lose somebody, it'll be the occultist. Hmm. Ugh. As you can see, why? Hmm. Ugh. Not going well. More damage. Just keep it coming. Their formation is broken. Dimas is doing like two thirds of the work here, guys. Oh, a little less than useless there. What a surprise. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love that one for the Hound Master. Oh, we actually have a skeleton key, too. Okay, room with treasure. We This is empty. It's kind of obvious which way we're going. Okay, everybody take a snack. Let's keep going. Your job to do that. Random crate has empty, just... I guess they're using as a step stool. Well, that makes the most sense. Oh, 
Not really saving the torches at this point. There's no point. The light, the promise of safety. Come on, let's at least make our price our uh, cash back on this mission, guys. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fifteen dodge, sacrificial stab. You know what? Who's got the best dodge? You do. Let's take that away. Ooh, he's going to be a good combo with the Houndmaster or the Arbalest. Um, yeah, take it. To the face. And... Shank. Heal everyone? Ooh, nice dodge. Shank. Ooh, ow. Stress. Hate the stress. And we're all bleeding. Great. This is so awesome. Great. Okay, back at you, dude. Stack that bleed. I think you're dead next turn. No matter what you do. So, let's get to you. Shank. Keep going. Hmm. Four rounds. Number of hit points remaining. He'll die next turn. Hmm. But it doesn't really matter. I can only attack him anyways. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. That's actually kind of funny. Basically, the bigger they are, the more we make them bleed. Oh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. It's a it's a subtle predator reference. And there's the crit. <laughs> yep, I have no choice but to attack the corpse, which is not even going to die this turn. Dang it. Do your do your tentacle thing. Uh. Oh, all that blood. And dead. At least we haven't picked up a lot of stress this run around. So clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Oh, thank God. That's like most of the cash we've had this entire run. Yeah, we're going to be skating the edge. I need an antiquarian fast. Antiquarians increase the amount of money that you get. Oh, screw it. At least you're... All right, right. All right, so everything's above 25. Mass heal. Bleeding's no point to it. Boom. Stress is done. I don't think he had eyes, dude. Take off your dodge. Hmm. Ooh, ow. Like in the Crusader here. Boom. Oh, my gods. You're killing me, dude. By the way, mass heals are a great way to get cheap stress relief. Because you'll crit. Four chances to crit. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Good. Less useless. Good. It's the last fight, so I don't have too much to worry about. Shot to the face. No, no, just... I'm judging you. Oh, escaping judgment. Ah, screw it. Tentacles have you. All right, the occultist is growing on me. I take back my previous assessment. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. And the key, which we just happened to get. A lot of crests. Hey, I'll take it. 
Now the question is, do we all want to go all the way back here, pass a trap, to do so, and considering our current status, I'm going to have to say we have to do this, simply because we are so low on cash. Oh wait, wait, is it an empty room? We've confirmed it's an empty room, sorry, and there's nothing in the hallway, got a couple of curios, so let's go. Before we do any more damage to ourselves. The great ruins belong <sighs> to us. And we will find whatever secrets they hold. Okay. Got that magic eye patch. <sighs> Almost think it's worth it. Oh, everybody's going up. Ta-da! Yeah, Griffin is gonna be my primary killer for Undead. Year for the Ruins. Oh, that's definitely gotta go. Dark Temptation, that's kind of... I thought you had that already. Okay. Okay, so finally things are stabilized a little. Ooh, it's hope. Minus 20 stress. Cove warns. Okay, so we have done a lot of what needs to be done. Okay, the sanitarium is now open. First thing that happens is that, well, we see if we can upgrade anything. Patient cells, medical devices, disease treatment, positive quirk. Remember, at the be always do the. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather <laughs> inside the mind. I'm with you on that one. Okay, so the treatment here is to remove one of these items. You can also remove quirks if you don't want one, because you only have so many slots. That's not really an issue. Yeah, I'm not letting you steal my stuff anymore. Now, if we have a disease, this is where you treat it, but we don't at the moment. So, meat shield is still for the second week going to be new so. You've noticed, by the way, our stress is nil. I mean, I'm going to send Barnerwise in to do some drinking, I think. Ooh, sorry, he can't drink. So... I guess you're meditating. And you're not meditating. Oh, this sucketh. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Do some gambling, dude. Yeah, still riding the edge here. Tell me there's an antiquarian. There's not. Yeah, I had no kleptomaniacs need apply. The Hellion, however, yeah. You're going. Ooh, but in order to do that, we need to upgrade the stagecoach. You have to get the barracks, and we do this. Boom, Hellion's one of my favorite classes, by the way. Barbaric rage and unrelenting savagery make for a powerful ally. Yep. She's got some interesting abilities. Self-heal, self-boost. She can run forward from the back positions. She can yell at people, and she can hack people apart. She's very great at the number two position, and she's not that bad at that. Also, got you, except the kleptomaniac. We'll get another one. And we've already got a Jester, unless you're spe Oh, off guard, another one that will pretty much guarantee that I don't give you because it slows you down in the first round. Okay, so what in fact we are looking at here, let's see, let's get this done. It's probably going to be... Uh, let's see, weapons and armor. Yeah. Blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. If you can unlock the weapon smithing, army smithing, it'll increase the basic equipment for anybody who's level one or higher. In fact, let me sort by level. There. You'll notice we have a bunch of level ones and a bunch of level zeros. So we've got to get the ones to escort the zeros up to the point where they can be useful. Now, Griffin... It's Griffin going back is the question. Obsessed with the paranormal. Not that really concerned. We put Griffin out though, we're down to using a level zero. On the other hand, she's okay. Question is, what do we want? Do we blow 750, bring Griffin up to full speed, or do we put her out again and kind of think of her at this point? Put her out again and then do some risk driving her nuts. Probably the Hellions is best to stat up for position two. I don't have another meat shield, so we're going to have to risk Griffin. As sad as that is. But Dismas, also good god again. But who's going to be doing what? If we put up, we need to get Burjet up at a higher level. Griffin needs to go too. 
get this arbalisk up and our one healer. Where's the other one? A healer here. So let's put up uh, this the number. The basically clear a path to the boss. Fifty percent. If we can get another ruins, we then can attack the boss for whatever reward we want. Oh, minus fifteen stress, no benefit. Yeah, that looks like something we're gonna have to do. Question is, let's put you here and you here. Although, although, although. No. Stress of 3D and all, all those battles. Risky. Is this works so well. Let's see, what have we got? Yeah, damage marked, damage marked. That, but no, we'll put her in. So she has that ability to bounce back and forth in the first and second levels anyways, because I believe forward does ooh, minus one speed, base damage, breakthrough, damage mod. Yeah, basically it will do some serious damage to the target and then cause her to hack. All right. I've had Iron Swan. Ooh, there's a possibility. One of the best abilities of the Hellion, by the way. Let's see, guild. Is, well, Iron Swan and if it bleeds, a she doesn't have. That's expensive if I want to try to do so. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll decrease the cost first. Every creature has a weakness. Mm -hmm. The wise hero trains for what she will face. Honestly, I'm thinking about doing it again, even though it's going to put me kind of low for uh, items for upgrading, simply because this is important to get people cross-trained in the beginning. A 20% decrease. If one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. All right, so what I'm going to want to is a Wicked Hack and Iron Swan, which allows me to attack the first two and the back. You know, it's the one of the few ones that allows the front person to attack the back. As well as if it bleeds, which will give me a target center people to bleed, and the Adrenaline Rush. Now, bleed out ew, screws yourself up, so I usually don't use it. So we need Iron Swan, and there's 1,600 off the bat. But we did save 400 by investing all of the building items. Remember, keeping the cost down is important. Because look how low we are. Until we get the Antiquarian, it can do what I call milk runs. We're kind of screwed. We also have room for two more people. No, we already went through that. Anyways, so question is... We're going to put her in the number one lead. Take out you and put you in. Risky, but I think it's worth it. Speaking of which, I'm going to see if, if I can get the abilities I want. Self-heal. Boom. Target whistle. Mark target. Boom. Cry Havoc. Stress minus two. All right. So let's configure them to a better... Con better since take away stun as it's a minor ability. Target whistle. Guard dog is good. But less... What is our preferred target again? Because if we are heading into the estate ruins... Yeah. Which one's... Oh, the wield. That actually makes the most sense, because there are a lot of bleeds, so the dog's major ability, which is to bleed targets, will be useful. As well as the self-heal, because, oh my god, do we need self-healing. Speaking of which, let's make sure everybody's statted out properly. Bola, that. Sniper shot. I'm kind of all good with that. You. Take out. Charge. Put you in the two position. And boom, you're now a hell of a lot more lethal. And notice the preserved position is in the lead. Okay, so you're kind of blind fire, sniper's mark, debuff target. Uh, that might be worth another 800, but we'll get that another time. We'll use you to mark. Make sure you've got the whistle. Yep, target whistle. Not the best marking ability, but it'll do. Plus, we'll do... With Dazzling Light. Is it worth the 800? Nope. Alright, so we're going to have to go through this. And this is the first mission for the wheel. Now, again, looking at the time for recording, I am probably going to stop here and move on to the next episode. So, take a quick break for anybody who may be out there, which probably not, given how numbers counts. <laughs> Sorry, trying to be more entertaining, but this may not be the best possible time. Okay, so, 